150, 140 now, 15, 150, 150, 50, 50, 150 now, 60. Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Honig, otherwise known as America's Fast Talking Sweetheart, and I'm here to share my auctioneer story with y'all. So here's a little background on me to start off. For about 15 years, my family and I owned a racetrack in Donaldson, Iowa. It was a lot of fun. It was the environment I grew up in when I was younger, and it's mainly where I learned a lot of my social and marketing skills from. About four years ago, my father decided to change his past. He's been racing all of his life. He decided it was time for something new. And so he joined the Steppus group from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And they also have a location in Fargo, North Dakota. So he joined that group. And about two years into his career, I decided that I would love to be in the action of an auction. So <laughs> I decided to go to auction school. I went to the Worldwide College of Auctioneering in Mason City, Iowa. They also have one in Denver, Colorado, which is really cool right here. Um, and you learn everything you need to know at Mason City and the Worldwide College of Auctioneering. I knew nothing going in. Um, the only auction experience I had had was working the ring for Steffis Auctions, and that's about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so 50% of it is bid calling, and 50% of it is the actual um, business part of being an auctioneer. So that was really helpful, um, learning the two sides of that and how they coordinate and if you want to be a contract auctioneer or own your own business it kind of gives you an outlook on how each of those paths are gonna end up for you and how to build yourself to be able to own the business or contract yourself out so right after auction school I started competing I joined my association the Iowa auctioneers Association and started competing I got second place in the rookie division my very first year so that was really exciting for me and a big step in my career and kind of pushed me forth to keep competing and keeping in the industry after that in July I competed in the National Auctioneers Association Championship and received second in the junior division so that was a big title um, it's a national event international even we had auctioneers from China and it was really cool to see the different cultures and the different ways and practices of auctioneering um, through that association. If I could suggest something to you, I would suggest you join your state association and the National Association of Auctioneering. Um, it's a great networking tool and you can earn jobs and opportunities through that and also build yourself and build your name. Uh, let people know who you are and what you do. So recently y'all have seen me on the Louisiana Flip and Move. I'm the auctioneer that sells the houses after they have been flipped and I am very very grateful for the opportunity I had gotten. I had never flown and I had never imagined that I would be on TV ever in my life um, but I was fortunate enough to have the right people in my life through the National Association and um, the encouragement from a lot of people to be able to be on that show. So Mr. Myers Jackson from Texas Flip and Move helped me earn that spot and I am very grateful to him and very grateful for DIY Network for trusting in me of my abilities. So to this day, I continue to be an auctioneer. I love benefit auctions. Those are absolutely my favorite. Uh, livestock auctions are also on my top of my list, as well as farm machinery auctions. Uh, those are the ones I do most frequently, and as well as benefits. I do a lot of benefits for my community. Also for nonprofit organizations, such as the Iowa Children's Hospital, Homes for Hope, and others. Um, there are a lot of auctions and a lot of auctioneers out there, and it's a lot of fun to collaborate with other auctioneers as well to create one big event and know that you're um, benefiting someone else from what you do. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry, that's kind of like what I'm used to saying. Ladies and gentlemen, the auction's on. <laughs> Um, no, once again, I am Olivia Honig, otherwise known as America's Fast Talking Sweetheart. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting more videos and comment below. Comment, comment, comment. I want to know what you guys want to know. Um, any questions y'all have or comments or any remarks that you may have for me, um, I'm more than happy to answer questions at all times. You also can follow my social media accounts. I will link those below also. Um, give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you next time.